Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall Spyware Hunter 5. Oh my gosh. So if you see right here, I'm actually going to open up this program. It does find malware in a way, kind of it's assuming that it is, but it's not an actual good, it's not technically getting stuff that's not needed right here. So right now it's catching up on Mozilla saying that Avira for the extension for password manager on Mozilla is malware. Is telling us that simple photos and files I hear they're like really GIF files are malware. It's going up to Vernabity saying that the Mozilla Firefox is pretty much corrupted because of that. It's got that add on. Let's see what it's showing here. And it's showing whitelisted files right here. Like I looked up through here, I saw there was like Internet Explorer. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, their task managers, memory diagnostics, they're normal DLL files, but it's saying that it's a uh, those are pretty much the whitelist or normal. It's a, it's a somewhat program, I guess, if you want to give it a try and purchase for this because it only gives you a five day trial. But regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and X this out. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, be sure you have the program probably closed. It likes to, like, to stay in background. See right there? Be sure you come to the little icons on the bottom right and just exit out. And yes, I sure want to exit because it's going to prompt you on this because this might have a problem when you uninstall it. So now the program's turned off. And now we're going to go to start and we're going to go into settings on the left side right here. And then we'll choose apps. And then you'll scroll down until you see the software called Spyware, Spy Hunter actually. And you'll select it and press uninstall. And I'll probably be prompted. Let's press uninstall. And I'll prompt us yes. I'm actually going to press no right now. Lots of people get this problem on here on Windows 10. So you see the Spy Hunter is actually here on regular settings. Sometimes it doesn't like to be shown on here on Windows 10. I don't know what's up with Windows 10s with that problem. So your second option is to get to there is go to start and go into the search bar right here. And just type in control panel. I just typed in control and it came up. And then you'll see programs. Go ahead and select it. And you can choose programs as uninstall programs. Regardless, press programs and features. And you'll look for the program, and there is Spy Hunter. Go ahead and click it. And you can double tap it, or you can select it up here, where it says uninstall and change. And you'll be prompted again the same way. Go ahead and press yes. And here's the program. Do you really want to continue? Set up or remove the following products from your computer Spy Hunter 5? Yes, please. Um, I don't like this program that much at all. Let's go ahead and press yes. And it's going to tell you if you want to get purchase the extra additional, I don't care. Proceed with uninstall and let us it do its work. It tells us that we need to reboot the computer. Let's go ahead and reboot it. And we'll see if anything changes after that. All right, it's signing back in, and we're going to be sure and see if that program is still there. So it seems the icon's gone on the desktop. I don't see Spy Hunter there at all. I'm just going to go ahead and go to Settings and see if it's there. Apps. And then I do not see Spy Hunter. So I think we're pretty much good. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.